Kristen Loki. Well, um, Penticton Early Childhood Education Society, we've been in operation for, it's been over 20 years. We moved into this building about 15 years ago. We actually started off on the other side of the hospital in um, a portable trailer. It's still sitting there, actually. I think they use it for other purposes at this point. But um, we were able to enter into an agreement with the OSNS upstairs. So we moved here about 15 years ago. And I think initially this society started, um, I think they worked with the hospital and did daycare for mainly hospital employees mm. and since expanded out into the community. So, um, and our, our goals are to provide high quality early learning environments for children from birth right up to school age. Mm -hmm. so, so you take them as young as a month old? Yeah, we can take them right from birth, although we don't see as many young infants anymore because there is the year maternity leave, mm -hmm. although we do get realtors who are self-employed or any other person who runs their own business that don't get maternity benefits. We have had children as young as three months. How many staff do you have? We have 10 staff here. Um, we have three full-time staff in the three to five side three full-time staff on the nursery side, and a part-time person for each program, so two, and then myself. So I work full-time in the office. So you administer the whole thing. Yeah, and I also have my early childhood education so that I can step in if someone's sick or if they need help. I'm always an extra set of hands. It kind of covers their bases. So, yeah. yeah. So why was this, uh, I guess, society set up? I mean, obviously, the you know, for daycare, but was there something behind providing some additional service or some premium service for daycare rather than... I think initially, and it was before my time, I do think initially they were... I think they made a deal with the hospital because they wanted to provide care on the hospital premises for staff. It's such a huge employer, the hospital here, so they okay, wanted so to do that. However, it didn't really work out because their shift work, I don't think hospital uh, staff, it didn't necessarily work out for them because they had varying shifts and um, opening and closing times and licensing regulations didn't really work out, so we went out to the community. But we are also a registered charity, so um, just by virtue of being um, an early learning environment, we are able to get a charitable status. And we've also been trying to provide a snack program and a breakfast program for children to help um, supplement their their food and yeah their nutritional needs because we do find a lot of kids don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables and the sorts of things that they need to grow up healthy and yeah. strong. So we also lost our funding for that at the end of August. Um, we applied for grants through the Festive Ale here in Penticton and normally got that money and this year we were denied that as well. So we've been really wow. piecing it together right now. Mm -hmm. um, of course, everything that we do, we have to do without affecting the programs as well. So, so the premises here you're leasing, you have an agreement with? We have a hundred year lease with OSNS. So they, oh, okay. so they, um, they own the building, the hospital owns the property. So for, for all intents and purposes, the property is ours as long as we're here, and we paid our lease up front. Okay, so, so there's no, no up cost that we just operating we, Yeah, we um, actually got, it's not really considered a mortgage, but it was a loan on the 100-year lease because we had to pay them up front for the 100 years. So we have a loan at the bank for this facility. So. Okay, that you're paying off. Yeah, yeah. and we're getting there. We're, we're getting close, but now we're at the point now where the building is starting to age and we needed to do some upgrades, but because it's a lease, that's where it gets difficult. It's hard to extend a loan on something that you don't own, but we yeah. need to keep the building... Okay. Yeah, and it's about, it's, I think it's 15 years old now, and the perimeter of the building, the tiles have been cracking and pulling up. Okay, so it looks like the slab was moving from the foundation. Yeah, we weren't sure. We thought maybe it was just the building settling over time. I don't know. We were worried about water. I didn't know if there was some water coming up or, but it, it is like this around the perimeter and the doors. Yeah. 
one of the things that we had to cut was the finishing of the floors because it was it was a monthly expense and it was hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for us to maintain these floors. So at the end of the year, we had to cut a couple thousand off um, our operating budget, and that was one of the things that had to go was voted on years ago. But without the finish, the floor is porous, and the staff they're washing it constantly because children are messy yeah. and they like to paint and do all sorts of fun things. But in the meantime, the, the floor has taken a real beating, and we're finding in the bathroom that the tiles are starting to lift. And no, and we are constantly needing to bleach them because little boys learning to toilet train. We're constantly cleaning up messes, but we're finding that the tiles have just absorbed the smell. Yeah. So every day we have to bleach and vinegar, otherwise it just you can smell. Yeah. So the need is to maintain these floors, or are you saying to replace the floors? We were What's looking it? to replace them. I actually replace applied them. for two grants. One was through the, the city of Penticton, and we were denied. And there was another grant. Danico, do you remember... Sorry, slipped my mind who, who the other um, grant was. It was a thirty thousand dollar grant that we applied for, and we were denied for that too. So, we're kind of at the end of our rope because we have an, an annual inspection every year, and it was kind of brought up that we needed to start looking at alternatives to the flooring because it was becoming a bit of a health right. issue. So, um, we have so that. What alternatives do you have? Well, we just keep applying for grants and hoping. No, I mean on oh. funding, but I mean on, on flooring. Like, what were you looking at? We still have that, don't we? So you guys did a budget, I think, right? Yeah, because uh, I had applied for a grant, so we had to do all of the legwork already for the flooring. So we did a little bit of research because we wanted to, to find something that was not going to require constant finishing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Pinky so, something like this one. This is kind of like a, that um, marmorette yes. type of product. Because it was, yes, it is marmorette. Because mm -hmm. we, we looked into something, we called a few places and said we need something that's industrial, something that can be cleaned constantly but doesn't need to be polished and buffed constantly either. So that's what was recommended to us. It is good stuff. Glass yeah. leg, huh? Don't pull too hard. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Well, we've tried to tuck it back in and trim it, but else here. They're starting to lift it like when we're mopping, they seem to bubble up more. But um, around the toilet, they're all lifted and this is where um, we've actually, yeah, we've been trying to keep boys and girls separate because we find that we get more mess in the boys bathroom and that's where it's been really been years so. I just, uh, what I'm wondering is, 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 is it done settling? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we weren't sure ourselves. Because I'm, I'm no engineer. That's for sure. I was worried that it was water, but I didn't think about settling. All it is. It's just another, another program, just a different age group and little bit different need there because they're littler people, they're crawling on the floor, so they really have more of an issue, hygienically speaking, because they're babies and they're crawling and so things in their mouth. And could it be considered two separate projects? Or, I mean, obviously it that probably could be. That's probably a bigger need. Or yeah, need. and that was the other thing that we even considered when we were looking into the fact if we do end up having to do this because licensing requires us to do it, we're going to have to do it. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll have to.